I'm Anne Lord Purcell, and I'm a yoga therapist. So what inspired you to become a yoga therapist? I'll probably start by uh, sharing a little bit about my first uh, career. So I started my professional journey as an electrical engineer um, and did that for about seven years. And towards the end of me working in engineering, um, I started practicing yoga and um, you know, started to realize like how helpful it was for my own mental health and emotional health. And um, I guess how supportive um, it felt for me. And so that's when I decided to um, train as a yoga teacher. Um, at that point, I wasn't really planning on teaching yoga. Uh, but once I got in front of, you know, my students and started to share this practice, um, I just, you know, realized that um, that's something I really wanted to do. Um, so pretty quickly after I, you know, made the jump, I guess, and uh, quit my job in engineering to start teaching yoga pretty much full time. Um, and that's also when I started to learn more about like why and how um, yoga is helpful for mental health and for trauma recovery. So that's when I decided to learn more about like trauma sensitive yoga um, and yoga therapy because it's a bit more specialized and it gave me the tools to really um, go more in depth and work one on one with people um, to support them on their own mental health journey. Um, so that was about eight years ago now. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing for the last eight years. How important is it for people to not only focus on the the mental side of mental health, but be one with your body? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's very important. Um, I mean, of course, that's what I teach. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I think our body just holds a lot of, um, you know, our trauma and our mental health um, and really like starting to incorporate our body into how we approach mental health, I think is, is so like crucial to really um, get to a point where, where we are fully like embodied. Um, because I think when we start to like separate, you know, the mental, the emotional, this, you know, the physical, um, it, I don't think it's how it works. You know, we're, we're just, um yes we have like different aspects of ourselves but at the end of the day like everything is connected and so whatever is going on with our physical body is impacting our mental emotional health and vice versa um and so yeah i guess like you know approaching mental health like through through the physical through the breath um through like our nervous system, you know, that's very much like physiological responses that we experience. I mean, you know, we've all like experienced like feeling stressed or uh, anxious and like, you know, feeling like that tightness in your chest or like kind of, you know, tense in your shoulders or, um, you know, even like those feelings like in your gut. So all of these are very like physiological responses. And so to me, it's like, of course, it's connected. And, and of course, we need to kind of, you know, integrate the two together. How does it feel for you that you're making an impact in people's lives? It feels like a very rewarding, um, you know, job to be doing. I mean, it's kind of that feeling like, wow, like I, I get to do this every day, <laughs> uh, which is really exciting. And it's um, it's very uh, fulfilling, I think, to to be able to to share that knowledge with people um, because it's not something I think that we're taught, um, you know, either at school or by our parents, like often, like if all of these things are pretty new, I guess, um, in terms of how we approach mental health, of course, yoga is not a new practice. Uh, you know, it's a few thousand years old, um, at least. And so this knowledge is not new, but um, it's probably something that we've kind of forgotten as a culture. Um, and so to be able to you know, allow people to reconnect with their own body and, and with that knowledge within themselves is, yeah, it's definitely a, a very fulfilling uh, career to be in. What type of tips would you give people who are going through stressful times right now? Mm -hmm. um, 
I guess taking like a holistic look at what is happening for them. Um, and so in yoga, we, we talk about kind of like the five, you know, aspects of who we are and, you know, the physical body is one of them. Minds and emotions is another one. Your breath and like your vitality is another one. Um, and so looking kind of like at all the different aspects of, of your life, but also looking at all the different aspects of who you are. So where, where are you noticing, you know, this um, stress is impacting you? Is it showing up in your physical body? Is it showing up in like how your mind is, you know, maybe like racing thoughts? Um, is it showing up in like how you breathe, um, in how much like energy you have? Um, and, you know, starting to incorporate like some very, um, you know, maybe simple, but not necessarily like easy to, um, to do like every single day or to remember to do, but really like connecting with your breath, I, I would say is, is the first thing that I usually, you know, um, share with people, like noticing how are you breathing? Are you remembering to like take some deeper breath every now and again? Um, how's your body feeling? So all of these questions, I guess, um, that we can ask ourselves to, to really see what's happening for us. What are some of the things you've learned from the people you've helped? Mm, that's a really good question. Um, I guess I'm always um, amazed at how, um, you know, the things that people do to move through those really challenging times um, and um, how much like knowledge and wisdom they already have, I guess. And so I feel like often my role is more to, you know, help them like remember that they um, have that knowledge and wisdom within themselves and to reconnect with it. Um, and yeah, I guess amazed that like the, the, our bodies and um, how much like resilience uh, people have in their lives already. I mean, I think we're, we're going through, you know, maybe particularly challenging times at the moment and, um, a lot of people um, are struggling and experiencing mental health, you know, challenges in the world right now. And, you know, it's, it's not a surprise, really. Um, but, you know, still, like, there's a lot of resilience and um, ability to to adapt and evolve and change in, in each and every one of us. And so I think that's that's always the thing that I that I, you know, notice and maybe reflect back to people when I when I work with them. What were some of the challenges during uh, COVID times with your practice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you know, obviously I had to switch everything online, um, which I guess, you know, maybe with my background in, in a more like technical um, career wasn't too, too complicated, um, but it was still obviously like with everything else that was going on to also have to think, okay, well, how am I going to, you know, run my business now. Um, it's also, um, I guess, pushed me to think um, in different ways. And so at that point, I hadn't really like considered uh, taking my business online. Um, and, you know, now it's actually like a big part of, of what I do. Um, so, you know, some, some good, some bad, I guess, uh, for me personally. Um, and I think with all the, the downtime that I had during that period, you know, it also like made me come back to my own, um, yoga practice. Um, I think, you know, when you, you know, I'm, I'm just like everyone else. Um, I also forget to take care of myself. And so to just, you know, have like so much time open up um during the beginning of covid um yeah it just helped me to you know recenter i guess and and uh, refocus on on yoga as a as a practice for me and as a way to to support myself so yeah yeah what are some of the things you do to help your own mental health mhm mm yeah well you know definitely um like having my own regular yoga practice. So, you know, that includes movement, that includes breathing, that includes like kind of more like introspection and, and self-reflection. 
Um, so I try to incorporate one of those aspects um, into my day once a day. Um, so it might not be everything every day because, you know, life. <laughs> um, but right. trying to come back to those principles, I guess, in how I, I live my life. Um, so, you know, it's I guess yoga is, is only like part of what I do for for my mental health. Um and I think it's a great like complementary practice to to other forms of, of therapy and support that are out there. Um, but, you know, like I said at the beginning, um, incorporating your body really um, in your breath into um, how you support yourself, I think is very, very important um, to, you know, maybe like shift some of those more like heavy, um, heavy feelings um so yeah so you know yoga um spending time outside uh other movement practices that i do um and um i guess you know reminding myself of what i would tell someone else that i if i was working with them so you know kind of putting myself um into that position of like okay what would I tell someone else like what would be um the practice that would feel supportive for for me right now um and that kind of like helps me you know think differently because sometimes when you're stuck in your own like mental health uh, or stress or like just more like heaviness it can be hard to kind of um uh, think you know a bit more clearly about what's happening um, and so that helps me kind of like take a step back and, and look at something, um, as if I was, um, sharing it with someone else. So, yeah. Where do you want to see your, uh, your mission uh, in the next three to five years? Yeah. Um, well, what I'm, uh, working on right now is to create a, um, online, um, kind of a community and membership for people um, and making it uh, really accessible uh, financially and also like through the types of practices that I share. So um, I guess like what I, I you know, want to grow that aspects of my aspect of my business and, and be able to like reach more people with that information and um, make it accessible in a way that you know people can take what they need and leave the rest and and also like feel like they have a, a community of people that um you know they can go to um so it's both like sharing you know like uh, pr you know practical things like little practices with breathing and movement and reflection and relaxation and i think uh, another part of that is knowing that we're not isolated and that we're not, you know, alone in, in struggling sometimes. Um, and um, so, yeah, so that's, that's the aspect of my business that I, I want to grow at the moment. So, um, so yeah, that's where I see that going. <laughs>